Hello everyone, it's Ashwin Rao. Today's unboxing features a brand that crosses the segments between rugged menswear and dresswear. Coming out of China, this is Iron Boots, and this is gonna be a unboxing of their Devil Dog, which is essentially their cap toe service boot, done in a hand-dyed horse butt leather from the Merriam Tannery. So a couple interesting things about Iron Boots, they emerged onto the scene approximately two years ago, releasing really high quality men's boots with a level of craftsmanship that was akin to um, the dresswear market. And this brand actually crosses over in terms of quality and craftsmanship. They have a really high quality fit and finish akin to dresswear but their stylings and their construction methods are all essentially in the rugged menswear market. So certainly a dressier boot. So what you see when I open up here are two laces, standard laces. They're not wax, they just seem like standard laces. You see that the packaging is fairly austere, no bags. So it looks like most of their money and resources go into essentially shoes themselves. And here is the devil dog. So you can see the striations that are common in horse hide leathers that um, this one coming from Merriam Tannery. You can see the beautifully well done cap toe and this is what I'm talking about. The cleanliness and the precision of the stitching and the broguing here is something that I typically only see in dress wear. You can also see this very clean hand done stitch down construction in a 270 degree welt. You can see some beautiful stitching along the upper. You can see these brass eyelets, seven brass eyelets, and a back heel counter that's one piece that extends all the way to the collar. Um, the stitching is actually kind of neat. It's almost a yellowish stitch done for the upper seams. And then the welt stitching is a off-white stitching. And I think that those both really do a nice job to complement this really beautiful leather that I'm seeing here. This is um, a Merriam Tannery, which makes really, really beautiful horse hides and horse butt leathers. They're a little bit more supple, a little bit more comfortable than brands such as Shinky Hikaku. And this particular pair has a really nice character. It almost has a natural grain-like structure that you can kind of see in here. This shoe comes with a Dr. Soul 1220 uh, super grip sole with a standard heel block. They talked about this gentle pitched heel in the makeup. Um, it's called it a curved heel, but it's really just a pitched heel. And yeah, this all comes together very, very nicely. Okay, we now have our second shoe out here. And again, you see very well done stitching on the upper, welt stitching in the 270 degree pattern, natural edge dressing. Contrast stitching on the upper. Looks like they did a nice job clicking this leather. You can see that in this pair, there's a little bit more grain structure on the inner aspect of the collar and neck of the shoe. And similarly here as well. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful color. It's almost a red brown, almost orangish colored, orange brown finish to the hand painted job, which was really appealing to me because I don't really have this color feeling. This is a leather that is not prone to creasing. Um, this is one of Merriam Tannery's um, tannage properties is that they have very supple leathers that roll almost like Coravin, but have a softer handle. Again, another view for your consumption. And I really feel that Iron Boots is well worth considering for those of you who have a desire to acquire rugged shoes and boots, but want a little higher level of fit and finish. This is gonna achieve that. They also have a collaboration coming up with Ostmo Boots to be a higher volume manufacturer of Lars's uh, designs. So that's an exciting development that will eventually reveal itself. But Iron Boots standing on their own as their own maker, really beautiful makeup as you can see here. And I uh, hope you're all having a good day. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.